All right, so here we are. We're looking into our 750 gallon coral tank. I'm going to back up for a second just so you can get a sense of the whole tank. And what I want to show you today is the bubble tipped anemone. This is a rose bubble tipped anemone. It's a rose like or orange color. That's well, more of an orange than a rose. And the amazing strategy that this anemone has come up with is for managing photosynthesis. Now, this anemone is a photosynthetic anemone, which means it has algae living in its tissue. It's kind of like if you were to eat a bowl full of uh, solar panels uh, for breakfast and you could just go outside, stick out your arms, and charge up uh, from the sun. Well, these uh, anemones, like uh, all the corals in the tank, are photosynthetic, and they have these algae living in their tissue. And it's called, the algae is called zooxanthellae, kind of a mouthful. And basically, as the algae processes the sunlight, it's uh, has chlorophyll in it. As it processes the sunlight, the byproduct is food for the anemone. And what I wanted to show you today is what makes a bubble-tipped anemone a bubble-tipped anemone. So we're going to zoom in here, see if we can get close up and look at some of these bubbles on the tips. It's pretty cool. Now you'll notice not every single tentacle has a bubble on the tip. If you look down low, a lot of the lower ones don't have any bubbles on the tips. Now why is that? Why does this anemone have bubbles on its tips? Well, the answer is in how this uh, coral or excuse me, how this anemone is regulating, uh, how it uh, is using sunlight to make energy. And what it does is, um, as, a coral f as the uh, algae photosynthesize, they release oxygen as a byproduct during the day, during the light phase. And the coral then uh, utilizes or releases that oxygen. Now what happens if the sunlight increases, or the temperature increases, or the water uh, clarity increases, all those things cause the rate at which these algae cells start to photosynthesize. Well, that means the algae are now producing more oxygen at a faster rate, and that means the anemone has to get rid of that oxygen or assimilate it at a faster rate. And if the anemone cannot assimilate, can't handle this faster rate of photosynthesis, or this faster rate of production of oxygen, it will have to expel its zooxanthellian bleach in order to prevent from dying from oxygen toxicity. I know this is kind of a mouthful, but this is the main cause of coral bleaching. Something in the water or the light causes an increase in the rate of photosynthesis. And um, there's the currents just moving the anemone around. And then those algae that live in its tissues are now photosynthesizing at a much higher rate and the, the coral or the anemone can't handle that higher rate and it has to evict the tenants um, or die, hence uh, the bleaching event. So what does this have to do with bubble tips? Well, the anemone is basically a big hydraulic. It's a balloon, essentially. It fills up with water, uh, it inflates or deflates. Uh, to increase its surface area. A lot of trees and plants will change the size of their leaves, change the shape or the surface area of their leaves to regulate how much photosynth photosynthesis and how much sunlight they're getting. And what the bubble-tipped anemone does here is they will turn the tips of, the, of their uh, tentacles into bubbles to function as uh, to shade the rest of the anemone. It's kind of like a bunch of people being out in the sun and it's really hot and everybody raises up umbrellas to shade themselves for temperature control. Well, this anemone has developed the trait of creating bubbles at the tips of the tentacles to shade the rest of the anemone to decrease the amount of area for photosynthesis. So the tentacles that are up high near the light source, they have bubbles on their tips. 
because they don't want to get too much sunlight. And the ones that are down low, that are in the dark, getting less sunlight, they have no, uh, no bubbles on their tips, and that's because they want to maximize the amount of sunlight they're receiving. So I'll show you in a minute, around the corner we have an anemone fish tank that only has one light fixture over it and it's less light. And those anemones do not produce bubbles on their tips because they don't get as much light. So they're trying to increase or maximize the amount of surface area to maximize the amount of sunlight they get. So they do not produce bubbles on their tips. If we move those anemones into this tank where there's more light, there's another one by the way, they would create bubbles on the tips of their tentacles. So it's pretty amazing how this anemone has developed this strategy for managing the rate of how much rate of pho photosynthesis and how much sunlight its algae cells, uh, its zoosanthelae can receive. Pretty cool stuff. So uh, that's it for today. Um, if you have uh, anything to say about this, whether you disagree, you find it interesting, or if you notice something, you have a question, just post a comment below and um, we'd love to hear what you have to say. Come by the Ocean Explorium and check us out.